Hello grade 3, I hope you are doing well and today we are going to proceed about the lesson of food chain and food group. What is a food chain? A food chain shows us how living organisms rely on each other in order to get their food. It is composed of many links and the arrow means eaten by. So if we start with this food chain, it is composed of three links. One, two, three. This is the corn. It starts with a plant, which is the corn here, that is eaten by the rat, which is eaten by the owl. If we move to the next food chain, we have carrot, that is eaten by rabbit, eaten by fox, eaten by lion and it is composed of four links one two three four so it shows us that the rabbit eats the carrot and the fox eats the rabbit and the lion eats the fox now if we move to this food chain it is composed of five links one two three four five it starts with a grass that is eaten by grasshopper. The grasshopper is eaten by the frog. The frog is eaten by the python. And the python is eaten by the eagle. So the food chain is a series of organisms that depend on each other to get their own food. If you look at the three food chain here, you can see that Always the food chain starts with plants because plants are producers. They produce their own food. And then the next links are the consumers, which are here the case of animals. These animals can be herbivores, carnivores, or omnivores. For example, the rat eats the corn, so it's a herbivore. The frog eats the grasshopper, so it is a carnivore. Now, page 22 in your books, a food chain, it is a series of organisms that depend on each other for food. The food chain always starts with the producers, which are the plants, and then you have the first level consumer, which is always herbivore because they eat plants, and then you have the next consumer. A group of food chain together, they form the food web. For example, you have to follow the arrow. Always we start with the plants because they are the producers. Grass is eaten by the mouse. And the mouse is eaten by the hawk. This is the first food chain. If you want to make another food chain, grass grasshopper hawk this is another food chain grass mouse snake we can stop here or we can proceed grass mouse snake vulture so they are composed of many food chain together so a food web it is made of several food chain that are connected together and it shows us how living organisms depend on another one to get their own food. So now we're going to answer some questions on your books, page 23. Are you a producer or a consumer? Because we do not make our own food, we are consumer. And we are mainly omnivore consumers because we eat both plants and animals. What is an example of a producer? Plants are the only producers because they only make their own food. Consumers can be animals and humans. We are consumers. We consume plants and animals. And animals are also consumers because they consume another animals or they consume plants. What are the first and the last organism in the desert food chain and in the ocean food chain? So if we look at both food chain here, 
always the food chain start with the producer. So in the case of a desert food chain, it is starting with a plant. In the ocean food chain, it starts with a plant that is here, the algae. It ends, so if you follow the arrows, this is the last organism, which is the hawk. And here in the ocean food chain, the last organism is the killer whale. So the answer for this question is found here. For the desert, the first one is a plant for the ocean algae. The last one for the desert is hawk. The last one for the ocean is the killer whale. Now, what are the two food how are the two food chains different and how they are alike? They are different with the type of consumer in each chain because we have here different animals in the desert and different animals in the ocean while both of them they always start with the producer which is the plant so they are different with the type of consumers we have different animals and they are alike in starting with the producers which is the plant why are the composers needed and what role do the composers play in food chain we said before that decomposers transform dead plants and animals. They transform them into minerals. They stay in the soil. The minerals are taken by the plants to make photosynthesis, to make their own food. Again, for this food chain, they are asking us in page 24, what organism make food in the desert food chain? So if we look at the desert food chain, which organism is the producer? So the plant, plants are the only producers that make food. What happens to the organisms that make food in the desert food chain? So these are the plants, what happened to them? They are eaten by the insects. So plants are eaten by insects. What is the last organism in the desert food chain? So if you look at the desert food chain, the last organism is the hawk. What do tiny consumers eat in the ocean food chain? So this is the ocean food chain and this is the tiny consumers. These tiny consumers, they eat the algae. So the answer is algae. What organisms eat shellfish? So this is the shellfish. It is eaten by the one next to it, which is the small fish. So the answer is a small fish. And the last question is, what is the last organism in the ocean food chain? So if you follow the arrows, the last organism is the killer whale so the answer is killer whale stay safe at home study well and i hope to see you soon